All right, hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, so today we're going to be looking at our metric units of mass. Um, so we see the word mass there, and no, it's not church. Um, this mass refers to a scientific uh, measurement for weight. Um, so today our scientific measurement is in a gram. So that's gonna be characterized by the lowercase g. So that is our base unit, here is our gram. Um, if we're talking about something that's really large, kind of like a ton, um, was really large in comparison to pounds, um, we are looking at a kilogram. Um, but as you get smaller, okay, you have your decigram, your centigram, and your milligram. Um, a lot of times scientists or doctors might refer to a lot of things in milligrams. Um, it's because your medicine is measured in milligrams. So I'm just going to show this to you real quick. Um, so this is the back of a, well, let's see if it'll focus. No, you don't want to focus today. There we go. So this is acetaminophen. This is just Tylenol, um, something you take for a headache. But you have 500 milligrams. Um, so that's how something is measured as small as um, a little tiny pill that you might take if you have a headache. Um, so a milligram is used a lot. Um, grams are also more used when you're maybe um, measure the weight of like a cat. Okay, cat has to go to the vet and they might measure it. Um, I would assume they measure in grams. Um, but you have these different measurements to tell the mass or the weight of an object. Okay, um, so today we're going to do the same thing we've done before. We're either going to multiply by tens, hundreds, or thousands, or we're going to divide by tens, hundreds, or thousands um, to go from one measurement to another, okay? Um, so our first example today is with grams. So we have four grams of something. Oh, that's a silly G. There we go. I can't make Gs today. Um, and we want to make it into a milligram, okay? So we have four grams of something. And now we wanna figure out how many milligrams that is. So if we're going from our base unit all the way over to a smallest unit, we wanna multiply. But how many times do we multiply that by? Okay, so you're gonna think about how many times are you moving over to get there? I'm going one, two, three. That's a thousand times bigger, okay? So we wanna multiply by 1,000. So you're looking at four times 1,000 is going to be how many milligrams that is. So four times 1,000 is 4,000, okay? All right, um, so next we're gonna go milligrams to grams. So we're gonna go the opposite way now. And we have 72 milligrams, and we wanna figure out how many grams that is, okay? So think, if we just multiplied by a thousand to go from grams to milligrams, we're now gonna do what? Divide, we're gonna divide by a thousand going the other way, okay? So we wanna divide. All right, so as a reminder yesterday, when we have whole numbers, there is a decimal point there that we don't normally see, we don't normally notice it. Um, it's at the end of that whole number. And if we're dividing by a thousand, that means we can move our decimal place three times because we have those three zeros and a thousand. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Our new decimal point is gonna go there and we're gonna use zeros as placeholders. So we have 0 0.072 grams is equal to 72 milligrams. All right, so our next one. Um, we are now going to look at 48 decigrams and we're going to convert it into grams. Um, so remember, if you want to pause the video, you can um, to see if you can solve it yourself um, and then check it with my work. So we're going right here from the decigram and we want to go over to our base unit, which is the gram. Um, so I want you to think, are we going to multiply by 10 or divide by 10? Hopefully you said divide, because we're going from the smaller unit over to our larger unit now. Um, so we're only going over 10 because we just have that one place to go over, okay? So again, we have that imaginary decimal point here at the end of our whole number, and we can just move it one place because we only have one zero there, 
And so now we have 4.8 grams. Okay? All right, you guys, go ahead and get your work done today. Um, and then we'll see you tomorrow when we go to add and subtract all of these different metric measurements that we've been looking at. Um, and then Thursday, I hope you're ready for that quiz. All right, bye.